All right, so in this video, we're reacting to the conversation of what do you bring to the table? Um, it's a fresh and fit podcast. The hosts are asking that to the woman. So we'll see what they answer. It's Mexico. What do you bring to the table to a man, right? That you're taking serious outside of sex. What What do you think she will bring? No, 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 I, I'm going on, I'm on the panel. Oh, she's slick. She's slick. She don't have an answer, it sounds like but she's able to deflect it onto the other person by saying, what do you think? So then he can give her the answer and she'll go, yeah, see, that's it. Have you ever been in a relationship that you obviously have sex, but what does she bring to the table besides that? Tell me. She literally just asked the same thing that he asked and just flipped it. Well, I'm asking you the question. You know how it works. Uh, I have an answer, but I'd like to know yours. Well, let's go on the panel first, and then we'll get past your question. For me, I'm definitely supportive. I'm definitely ambitious, and I like to be a part of your idea. So I can say comprehensive. I got my emotions sometimes, and I want to say my opinion. But in the, and overall, I have really good intentions. I want to see you grow, because if you grow, I grow. Um, um, great communication, and I'm definitely adventurous. So I'm super down. I'm open-minded. I'm down, so I'm fun, and that's what I bring to the table. That's nice. It's nice. She actually gave an articulated answer. Um, you know her personal skills and traits and qualities. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm supportive. I'm ambitious. I'm adventurous. Okay. I'm definitely open-minded to a lot of things. Yeah, I'm a good time. I'm cool. a good time. My answer is I don't know. I don't know what I would bring to the table. If this is me. You like it, you don't. Let's find out. Let's figure it out together. You're keeping it real. I like that. You at least you're being honest. Wait. You no, I, I don't really give her that credit. She wasn't being honest because her first instinct was to deflect. And that's okay, you know, because she feels like she's put on the spot. You're on um you're on a massive platform, so that probably has an effect too so i will you know consider that too but this outside of that we have to also consider that this is why many men can be frustrated with women because some women don't just acknowledge that they don't know despite the fact that they have an incredibly high standard for themselves you said you have a boyfriend though right yeah i do well, well what do you do for him then Oh, a lot of things. Do you want to know? <laughs> and you see, that's what I'm talking about. She just did a deflection again, but it's almost like rather than answering the question, she's prolonging the time, uh, you know, for her to answer the question because she doesn't truly have an answer. So it's better to just say, I don't know. Can you tell me what, you know, can you help me out here? And people can't humble themselves. I think that men and women need to do that. Humble yourselves. It is just the case that many men are already humbled by society and women. So we know if we don't bring something to the situation. You want to ask him? I'm asking you. I mean, you, you said, I'm not sure what I bring to the table. And then I'm like, wait, aren't you in a relationship? Honestly, when I'm in a relationship, I'm not like, what am I bringing to the table? Is he happy if I do this? I don't question myself all the time. This and this is why you see many relationships where it is unsatisfactory because how can you be in a relationship without consideration of if you're meeting that other person's romantic needs and how to do it you see women will have their whole love languages and they'll be free to give you that and um tell you you know that you should be doing things for them but on the other side they might not have a consideration but it is true that that's not a woman because we did see the other woman give a clear answer this is who i am I'm maybe saying, today can, 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 something interesting yes. when you were asked what you're looking for long term you had a laundry list of stuff you mentioned but then when you're asked what i you just said fun good sex and somebody who would like change with me and we both like grow together let's say you brought four things but then when you were asked what do you bring to that person then you're like i don't know do you understand <laughs> how there's like a confusion there it's not it's not confusing for me i don't know if there's somebody else that's not as confused and this is what I'm talking about when I say, just be humble and say you don't know. That's you. All right, man, I'm the confused one. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, and this is what, what I'm saying, right? Many men are frustrated because this is this type of woman is common. She's not everyone. It's not all. But some people have a problem just admitting, hey, I don't know. I want to learn. How can I be a good partner for my man? Right? There's nothing hard about that. But then 
de- if you have demands on one side and then no no qualities to bring to the other person or no conscious thought of how can I do my bit to contribute something to the situation um, that you can see how that's an imbalance. I personally don't even use that question. What did, what do you bring to the table? I have my own thoughts on that and I've done my video on that, right? But um, yeah, there still has to be some effort and conscious value that is being brought to the situation from both sides however i want to know what you think so comment down below let remus know and i'll see you in the next video peace